As your database grows, you might find that end users accidentally enter some information more than once, creating duplicate entries in your database, which of course has the potential to cause problems depending on what information is duplicated. To locate duplicate information, Access has a wonderful wizard called the Find Duplicates Query Wizard designed to do just that. To use the Find Duplicates Query Wizard, simply click on your Create tab located in your ribbon, and in the Other group, click on Query Wizard. And third from the top, you'll see the Find Duplicates Query Wizard option. With that selected, click OK, and that'll launch that Find Duplicates Query Wizard. This first screen will ask you, which table or query do you want to search for duplicate field values? And for this particular example, we're going to be searching our customers table for duplicate entries. So selecting table customers, just click next. The next screen asks which fields might contain duplicate information. Now chances are it's not going to be whatever's designated as your primary key because primary keys are not allowed to be duplicated. So what would more than likely happen is that someone enters one customer more than once and gives them two different IDs or customer IDs. So what we'd like to search for instead would be more than likely the company name or the contact first name and last name. But a lot of times if we're ordering from a specific company, a lot of times the contact from that company might change, but all the company information stays the same. So maybe a company would be preferred over the contact first name and last name. Alternatively, you could also use an address, but you might have more than one particular street address that's duplicated without it being the same customer. And you'll definitely have repeating cities, repeating states, and repeating zip codes. But what you can do is search for more than one field. So you could theoretically send over your address, city, state, and zip code field. So that way it's looking for a match from all four fields. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we are just going to search one field, which is our company field. And with that selected and sent over to our duplicate value fields area, we're going to click next. Now the next screen, I know it looks very, very similar to the previous screen. This one is actually asking which fields we want to display in our end query. And I usually just like to display everything. So I'm just going to hit that double headed arrow to send all of those fields over to that query field section. And with all those selected, let's click next. And the last screen is going to ask you to create a name for this particular query. And I'm just going to leave it as the default, find duplicates for customers, and then click finish. And here we go. All of your repeating information will display here. And here we have Balthazar Books, different customer IDs, but really it's kind of the same name. We've got Edward Luna and Eddie Luna. So one's full name, one's a nickname. And it's the same address, city, state, and zip code. So what we can do to clean up that data, we could either go back to the original table, or we can delete one of these records here. But just a little warning, I wouldn't go deleting anything, because we might have some orders based off of one customer ID, but not off of another. So you might want to go back and check through your orders tables or your other query, just to make sure that that hasn't been separated out. But if you're not worried about that, you can just simply select one of those, press delete on your keyboard. It'll give you a warning you're about to delete one record. Yes, we want to continue. And that's an easy, quick way to clean up that duplicate information. And that is how you use the Find Duplicates Query Wizard. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.